last week we worked on the first two moves of the warm up, uh, Qigong, and this week we're gonna do the second part. There's only four moves, and then we'll go on to the fundamental Tai Chi fundamental Qigong is to reinforce your Tai Chi principles. And also, it's a good qigong exercise. Straight, strengthens the body, improve your qi, and uh, also improve your flexibility. Okay, so that will be throughout the summer. So I think we'll complete this four different qigongs uh, by the end of summer. So and then after that, we'll evaluate what we're gonna do uh, from there. Okay. Yeah. Could you um, tilt your screen so we can see your full body, including your feet? Oh, you can't see my feet? No, we see a bunch of your ceiling, but not your feet. Thank you. Yeah, if I tilt too much, you will fall forward. <laughs> I think that's better, right? Okay, make sure you, let me just mute everybody again, make sure everybody's Okay, now we'll start from the second move. Let's just do that one time and continue to the third and fourth. So the second move, start from here, the open, and then you come down, relax the body. Stretch. Cross the hand, sit. Drop your tailbone down. Slowly straighten your back. Raise the crown. Bring the hands over and top. Stretch upwards with the elbows to the side. Sink down. Energy go into your feet. And then go back, open up. Come up here, stretch your arms, push to the side. Extend the fingers. Now here, as we go down, we're gonna go onto the third move. You bring it down to a waist level and start to scoop here. So you, when you come down, your arms are straight, the fingers are straight. But once you get to about waist level here, it's not straight anymore, you start to scoop. Okay, use the fingers first, and that leads to the arm. Start to round the arms and sink. Then when you sink, try to stiff and round the back. Don't lean forward too much. And then here, you're gonna cross in front of you with the left hand over the right, and then go down. Lower the hands. Relax, feel the heaviness, and then you come up. Here, my palms upwards and extending the arms out. Very light here, just like you uh, have two balloons in your hand trying to lift up the balloon. Can't use too much energy. Uh, also, you know, you can't be too fast, it has to be very even and uh, steady, otherwise the balloon might fall, even though it's very light. And then you go up as much as you can. Here, the energy come up. See how here I'm gathering from the top. The hands cross, the palms facing down here. So naturally, as I come around, the palm face down, right over the left. Okay, so now from here, I'm gonna push the hands down, right in front of me, very close to the body. Push the hands down, the palms still facing down. Start to sink a little bit here. And then at chest level, you turn the palm around. So now here I'm facing the body, okay? And then continue to go down and relax the body. And then when your hands are below your navel, your, your palms upwards again. 
okay, but still cross. Now from here, again, you drop. As you drop, you want to sink a little more, round the back. So the head kind of goes forward, but touch your tailbone and keep it uh, in place. Don't let it come up. So that way you're not leaning forward, more contracting the body. And then again, slowly push up. You try to feel the energy. When you push up, you have to feel the ground first through the legs, through the body, into the hands here, okay? And then when you gather, you can see this one uh, is opposite of the previous one. The previous one, the gather, was from the ground. So, so you're, you're picking up energy from, uh, from the ground. It's uh, earth energy, okay? And then bringing it to your body. And then here, you picking up energy from the top, which means the sky. So, Again, as you bring the energy to the body, you're trying to create a balance of energy in your body. It's like a balanced diet. So here you cross, you wanna make the circle again bigger than it looks, so your energy goes beyond the hands. Cross, and then also when you sink down here, again, this circle is more of the, uh, Tai Chi circulation. Here, as I come down, that's how you do it in Tai Chi, is to sink your energy down. The previous circle is coming up. It's more of a natural circle. Yeah, so here is a different. When you use energy, when you're doing martial art, uh, you have to sink. When you don't sink, there's no power. When you open, it feels good, but you're not as strong. And when you sink, your body is more connected, your energy is stronger, okay? So here, you're pushing your energy down. And then from the Dantian here, it goes down into the feet. Open up again. So here again, it doesn't matter, you can sink a little lower if you can, but you can now, it's okay too. But mainly, you have to feel the energy. Cross, and bring the energy down. Okay, so let's try the next move. So here, with the hands cross, at the end of this move, you just separate the two hands. So now my hands are right in front of my thighs, okay? Even touching my thighs. And then relax the body again. Here I'm pushing, relaxing into my arms, into my hands, and pushing down. And turn the hands toward the inside of the leg. Slowly go down to the feet, and then circle around. Relax your back, try to keep your knees fairly straight here, and then when the hand gets to the back, you drop your tailbone, so naturally you're bending your knee too. So here when I come up, you can see the back of my hand here. They're fairly close to each other and the palm facing up, and you're trying to lift up your hand as much as you can. And then, if you can't go any further, you go around the arm, and then here you close the hands. Okay, try to keep the elbows to the side. Lift the hands. You uh, point the fingers upwards first. So you're pushing upwards with the fingers, and then you drop down here. Drop the elbows, and the elbows come fairly close to the body, and the Hands also. Here you're right in front of your chest. And then you straighten the elbows, so becoming more relaxed in the arms. And then naturally you're on the side of your leg again. And then uh, do it again. So start on relaxing the top. You always want to relax gradually. 
Bring the hands around. Here your tailbone up because your legs are straight, but as the hands come up at the same time, you're sinking the tailbone down. And feel the body opening up. Lift up and go around. Bring the hands together, close the palms, lift up. And bring the hands down. Okay, so in the last move here, uh, the hands are very close to the body, going down from the front up to the back. Okay, so uh, when you can feel your hands, that helps your energy circulate. That's why, I look like in Reiki or in healing, they use the energy to uh, help your energy. This is the same, you're using your own energy to help yourself, okay? So when the hands are closer, you can kind of feel it, you can sense it. Hopefully that automatically, uh, unconsciously will uh, make the energy go with it, okay? So this circle here is going down the center from the top is where you breathe, is right from the center, and then down, to the inside of the legs. That's because that's where all the nerves are. The energy circulates through the nerves. And then, again, this circle is a Tai Chi circle. It's called Hou Tian, a reverse, uh, the yin and the yang, the natural circle, the reverse natural circle. Going down, and same thing, coming back from behind the legs, and you close your, you put your hands close to each other because you want it to be close to the spine. Again, that's where all the nerves are. So you come up from the back with the hands close to the spine, okay? And then up to the neck, to the crown, up high and come back down again to make the circle bigger, okay? So let's just try that one more time. So from here, you turn the hands and relax the arms and here just completely relax first. When you relax, you feel the heaviness of the shoulders and arms. And then you can slowly go forward again, turn the hands. So again here, you should try to go lower and lower. It's also stretching. When you stretch, you relax. When your body is relaxed, it's easier to circulate your energy. Up the back. Close and bring the hands down. Okay, so that's the last two moves. Again, this warm up Qigong only has two moves. I'll email uh, this portion of the video to everybody so you can review it. Um, 